Hello, I'm Astrid Neuenhaus of the Environmental Resources Center at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Today we're going to learn about integrated pest management. What is integrated pest management, IPM? It's an effective and environmentally sensitive approach to pest management that relies on a combination of common sense practices. IPM programs use current, comprehensive information on the life cycles of pests and their interaction with the environment. This information, combined with available pest control methods, is used to economically manage pest damage with the least possible hazard to people, property, and the environment. How does IPM work? First, set an action threshold. Decide how much damage you'll tolerate before you act to control the pest. When does the pest become an economic threat? Next, monitor and identify pests. Some are beneficial, some are harmless. Identify the problem ones so you can target your control methods. Common pests include insects, fungi, weeds, and rodents. Use prevention methods to reduce pest levels. Rotate your crops. For example, corn rootworm can be managed by crop rotation. Other prevention methods are to choose resistant varieties, use crop succession, and maintain areas with ecosystem diversity such as habitat, islands, or buffers. For pest control, develop a continuum of control methods based on effectiveness and risk. You might choose to attract birds that eat insects, introduce and encourage beneficial insects, or use targeted applications of pesticides, either conventional or organic. IPM is a win-win practice. Integrated pest management saves money with fewer inputs, minimizes the risk of crops becoming resistant to pesticides, and protects the health of humans and the environment. IPM also conserves habitat for native pollinators that we need in agriculture. Let's visit a farm in Viola, Wisconsin to look at some interesting ways one farmer uses IPM. Hi, Mark. Hi there. Good to see you again. Good to see you as well. We've been learning about the concepts of integrated pest management. Do you want to talk about how you use those concepts on your farm? Sure. One of the things that we try to do here on the farm is uh, do as best that we can to imitate the natural ecosystem that's around us. So before we ever got started, we did a little research and found out that we're in the oak savanna uh, biome, yes. which has a certain family of plants around. And so what we decided to do was plant those individual species of plants as a habitat island so it would draw to it the beneficial insects that will help with pest control um, in the rest of our crops. And right here behind us is a little habitat island with a, a white oak, wild plum, hazelnut, uh, wild prairie rose, there's raspberries in there, there's grapes, there's crab apples. A um, wide variety. A whole huge variety of things because one of the things we want to do is we want to provide food for different beneficial insects and birds and amphibians throughout the whole course of the year. This is late in the season so we don't have a lot of flowering plants now, but one of the goals is to have lots of flowers all throughout the whole growing season. So when you started, would you recommend to another farmer that they take inventory of what the ecosystem would be growing in their area? Yeah, find out what would be naturally growing in your area first because when you replant that, you'll attract all of the other creatures that are naturally adapted to this place. Uh, I would also recommend doing an inventory because you may have plants that you don't necessarily want, like multiflora rose or buckthorn. Yes, just because you see it growing doesn't mean it was native to it. It doesn't mean it belongs there, right. It doesn't mean it won't cause you trouble. Do you have other examples of integrated pest management you'd like to show us? Sure. Let's go check Let's it out. Go see. Here we have another example of a multi-story cropping system. The tree up high in the tall layer is chestnut. In the uh, lower story we have uh, hazelnut. Beside the hazelnut here we have Siberian pea shrub, which is a nitrogen fixing legume. And behind us here we have apples. Other than fixing nitrogen for the soil, um, what value do you get out of this? Well the Siberian pea has uh, these little pods on them. They have seeds in it, a high protein seed that falls to the ground and is consumed by the livestock. That looks like a mung bean. It does. I've actually used them as sprouts before or ground them up as, as flour. Nice. Would you like to go see some other multi-story cropping systems? Yeah, let's do that. Good.
Mark, let's talk about integrated pest management and the placement of trees on your farm. Sure, one of the things that um, the placement of trees does is it gives us a three-dimensional structure. As we can see here in this uh, multi-story cropping system, the tall tree, the chestnut, medium tree, the apple, and the shorter shrubs, the Siberian peat and the um, hazelnut. This provides different habitat from nesting sites uh, to perching sites for different insectivorous birds. And this particular spot, uh, once I walked by, there was an eastern kingbird up high in the chestnut tree. It was going out and up, catching insects up on a higher level. On the apple tree was an eastern phoebe that went out, sometimes up, and then it hit the ground sometimes. So it was kind of like in the middle range. And on this hazelnut bush over here was a bluebird. And they're pounce hunters, and they jumped down on the ground, and they were catching insects off the ground. So I was getting three-dimensional insect control All without doing any work. Levels. That's right. And another, another uh, insect control strategy that we have is the perennialism. Um, these plants provide all kinds of hidey spots and trees are home to tree frogs. Yes. And uh, by not spraying an insecticide, uh, we maintain high levels of um, amphibian populations in our trees. Uh, amphibians get about 50% of their air right through their skin. So if you spray an insecticide, whether it's a chemical or oh, an organic yeah. spray, That's no you're good. killing your frogs, your tree frogs, your toads. And toads are one of the only amphibians ever observed to eat plum curculio, which is a huge pest in apples especially. Some other kinds of um, uh, integrated pest management that we get around the base of the trees here, we can't see them now because it's late in the season. There's a ring of daffodils. Here's comfrey. And there's comfrey underneath there. Both comfrey and daffodils outcompete the sod, so the trees don't have to have the roots in a heavy, dense sod. And you can sell this. I sell the uh, comfrey to a medicinal herb company and the daffodils at 10 cents a stem to whoever wants them. Nice. And comfrey produces this really nice mulch in the fall that all the uh, uh, beneficial insects can hibernate underneath. Mark, thanks very much for showing us how you use integrated pest management on your farm. You're welcome. Integrated pest management is a management system that many farmers are becoming more familiar with, and it's a good one for farmers in the upper Midwest.